I hope you're having a great time making web applications. As a front-end developer, you have to mock the back-end APIs quite often because you want to make progress on the UI and you don't want to wait until the back-end APIs are fully implemented. So in this video, we are going to walk through how you can mock the back-end API or simulate the back-end API request. In general, whenever you want to fetch the data from the backend, you call the backend APIs. Backend APIs does some operation like fetching the data from the database. And whenever it uh, completes its operation, it returns you the data. And in the meantime, it returns you a promise. And um, whenever it uh, backend API finish fetching the data from the database, it resolves a promise with the return data. So in this so how we can simulate that without needing of any backend API. So let's see how we can do that. So for example, if I have a fetch data function, it accepts one param uh, and it calls this delay function with the timeout of five seconds. What delay function does is it immediately returns us a promise and uh, it resolves that promise after that timeout period. In this case, it's five seconds, and whenever that timeout period, uh, uh, whenever the promise gets results, it's called a success callback. So pretty simple, right? We can easily follow it, and uh, whenever in ideal scenario, whenever this, uh, before this promise gets results, you do any async operation like fetching the data from the database, or checking for the authentication, and uh, some more. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see how we can implement it, how we can use it. So in this case, I'm calling this fetch data function with the user key, the user param. So what's going to happen is you will see this um, fetch data will be called and after five seconds you get this data. So let's see how what's happening at every step. We are calling the fetch data function with the user param. So uh, in Whenever we call that function, it calls the delay function, which returns a promise. And whenever that that promise will be resolved after five seconds, so uh, and so when the promise will be get resolved, it's going to return us this uh, ar array of users, and then it's going to call the success callback inside this then with the result with the data which is recent return, and we are just logging it. So, and you can try out this other examples here. I hope you can use a similar pattern in mocking the API response for your web applications. Have happy web development. Bye-bye.